Have you met or spoken to Katie Maloney since canoodling with Tom Schwartz in the Winter House? And did you cross paths with her at BravoCon? Good question, Very California. Good question. Um, so Katie was actually one of the first people I met at BravoCon. It was before oh, BravoCon. I wasn't I there. <laughs> <laughs> it was when we were checking into our hotel because we're all staying in the same hotel. Um, it was a very brief hello, nice to meet you. It was very civil. I did wish... she know who you were? I assume so. Listen, I know you're giving me that look, but I'm just making sure. Yes. Um, I'm yeah. sure she definitely knows who I am now. Yes. So, yes. Um, yeah, it was very brief. I wish I could give you more tea than that. And then and we didn't... didn't cross paths again. Okay. All right. Here's Courtney from Pennsylvania with a question for Alex. Hi, Courtney. Hey, Andy. Hey, Katie. Hey. Um, Alex, when you said in your confessional that Danielle was showing a lot of red flags, what were the specific red flags you were seeing? Another great question. <laughs> Thanks. And great hair, ma'am. Thank you. Festive. Uh, um, the, the first one, I mean, those, the most obvious one was she was holding a knife. That was a that was a big red flag, um, but it was it was just possessiveness. There was like a little bit of, you know, she was coming off of a breakup, so there was like insecurity involving that. There's insecurity in her like position in the house. That was definitely a red flag, um, and then the amount of partying that Danielle does is sometimes I'm just like I can't keep up. You know, she she could part out party a yachty probably. Wow, that's saying something. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.